Mr. Speaker, I had the opportunity on Sunday to visit some friends and relatives and talk with Chris and church leaders there in Cannons Creek. And I'm surprised by what the member has just said because in meeting with the church leaders there and families, I can say to this House with much confidence uh, that many working families there are suffering under this government. Many families there are suffering under the tax switch. Many working families are suffering because of the lack of jobs and the lack of plan by this government at all. And I would say, sir, that the majority of people that are hurting are the children of mana under this government and under their particular policies. It is the desire of every family that I met in Mana, sir, on Sunday, that they want the best for their children. They want the best opportunities in education, in health. They want the best opportunities for them, sir. And I have no doubt that that dream is shared by people up and down this country. These, our children, are the future leaders of this nation. But I have said to those families that under this national government, we are going to have to fight for it. We are going to have to fight for it if we're wanting this dream to come true. The next Labour government, under Phil Goff and Annette King, will put children at the centre of policy, the centre of policy of health, education, housing and social development. We've got to put children at the centre of these policies, sir, if we're going to achieve a dream for our children of future generations. But as I said to the people of Mana, with their help, we have to fight for it if we want to achieve this, because we are not going to be able to achieve it under this government. So we have to fight for it if we want children to be the centre of our education policy. We have to fight for it if we want our children to be strong and healthy in the future. New Zealanders have got to fight for it because under this government we will never achieve any of these dreams or aspirations. The last time the next one government in 1990, 1999, under Jim Bolger and Jenny Shipley, that period, sir, that was marked by industrial unrest. That was marked by the divide widening of inequality. That was marked that the children of that period suffered under the same economic, the failed right-wing economic policies that this government now is again bringing up. Wages were driven down. Unemployment reached unprecedented highs during that particular period. Sir, Labour, in its term and last time, worked extremely hard, sir, to ensure that we regain some of the losses under that national government. Working for families, working for families which help to reduce child poverty, affordable primary health care so that our children who were unhealthy under that government could access a doctor, go to the hospital when it was required. Restoration of income related rent because under that government they were kicked out. The housing stock was left unsupported. That's right, 20 hours free early child education. So, reducing unemployment. We have lost all that gain in nine years in only two years under the John Key National Government. We have lost it. We have lost it. And inequality continues to widen. Industrial unrest is what we saw in the Labour weekend. Unemployment increases and the children of our families, sir, up and down the country in ordinary families continue to suffer under this government. Sir, this is not a family-friendly government. This is not a child-friendly government because under this government, the failed right-wing economic policy of this government is widening the gap. And so we're losing, sir, and our families, the people of Mana, the people up and down in this country are going to have to fight if we're going to regain ground, be able to put children at the policy, at the at the centre of policy if we want to achieve the dreams of our children as their future leaders, we're going to have to fight for it to get a Labour government in there and I know the people of Mana are going to bring 
Christopher Foy back as Darren P. was there going to fight for it. Well done.